So hey guys, so in this video, I am going to solve two problems involving areas of plane region. Okay, so let's start with the first problem. Find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals 9 minus x squared, the y-axis, and the line x equals 2. Okay, so as you can see, we have y equals 9 minus x squared. So 9 minus x squared and meaning this is a quadratic function and we know that the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola and this equation can be written also as y equals negative x squared plus 9 and since the coefficient of x squared is negative this means that the parabola is open what downward okay i'm going to show you the sketch of this graph so we have like this so uh, the parabola has vertex at v 0 9 y because there is no coefficient of x here right x squared lang meron x wala so kapag walang coefficient ang x ibig sabihin ang x coordinate ng vertex 0 then yung constant yung yung y coordinate so 0 9 so, we assume na ito yung 9 and therefore, this is the vertex and the parabola is opening downward. So, ayan, ganyan yung sketch ng graph, more or less. And then, sabi doon, the y-axis. Alam natin na ito yung ating y-axis and the line x equals 2. Okay, draw natin yung line na x, equal, x equals 2. So, ito yun assuming okay so this is yung x equals 2 okay so x equals 2 so ano ang hinahanap nating region so, ang region na hinahanap dyan natin since bounded by the x axis the y axis and the curve so ito yun so ito yung region na hinahanap natin Yan. And yung area na kailangan nating isolve. So, again, we will draw a vertical strip. Yan. So, meaning, the upper function here is the parabola. Yung y equals 9 minus x squared. And ano yung ating interval dyan? So, ang interval natin is from 0 to 2. Kasi from the y-axis to the x equals 2. Okay? Now, let's set up our indefinite, definite integral. So, we have from 0 to 2, integral of the upper function, we have 9 minus x squared. Minus the lower function. Ang lower function natin ito, the x-axis. Okay, and we know that the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0. So, therefore, minus 0 dx. Yan. So, 0 naman na yan. Let's see, close natin. So, 0 na yan. So, pwede natin siyang gawing from 0 to 9 minus x squared dx. Ayan. Then, integrate na natin. So, ang integral niyan is the integral of 9 dx is 9x and the integral of x squared is x cubed over 3 from 0 to 2. So, by substitution, we have 9 times 2 minus 2 cubed over 3. So, diba, ganito lang mag-evaluate ang definite integral. Substitute yung upper limit minus the value at x equals the lower limit. So, we have 9 times 0 minus 2, uh, rather 0 cubed over 3. And that will be 9 times 2, 18 minus 2 cubed, 8 over 3. Since 0 yung multiplier, so 0 yun. Then, 18 minus 8 over 3. So, 18 minus 3 is 54. Minus 8, 46. So, 46 over 3 square unit. So, yan yung area ng ating plane region. Okay? So, next. Find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals square root of x plus 1, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line x equals 8. Okay, draw muna natin yung curve na y equals square root of x plus 1. 
Okay, guys, ganito lang kasimple yung pagdo-draw ng curve. Ang at kung ang ating equation ay y equals square root of x. Kung y equals square root of x lang, ang graph niya kasi is ganito. Okay. So, yan yung y equals square root of x. Kaso may x plus 1. So, ang ibig sabihin kung x plus 1, equate mo yun to 0. So, x plus 1 equals 0. So, x equals negative 1. So, magmumove ka lang ng 1 unit to the left. Okay. So, we have here, then 1. Ayan. So, yan yung magiging new graph. Yan yung graph ng ating function. So, ito yan yung y equals square root of x plus 1. So, ganun lang mag-transform ng graph. Okay, then, sabi doon, the area bounded by the given curve, the x-axis, so we have this, x-axis, ang equation natin, y equals 0, and the line x equals 8. So, x equals 8 daw. Okay, so, draw natin, x equals 8. Yan, assume natin, ito yun. Yan yung ating x equals 8. Okay? So, ano yung region na kailangan natin hanapin? So, 8 yan. Sabi, between the the y-axis, the x-axis, and the line, x equals 8. So, ang hinahanap nating area ay ito. Okay. Yan yung region na yan. So, paano at mahanap? So, again, mag-draw muna tayo ng ating vertical strip para makita natin yung upper and lower function. So, the, as you can see, the upper function is square root of x plus 1. And ang ating interval is from, since mag start sa y-axis, from 0 to 8. So, therefore, the integral will be from 0 to 8 square root of x plus 1 minus the lower function. As you can see, ang lower function yung x-axis, which is y equals 0. So, minus 0 dx. Or simply, 0 to 8 square root of x plus 1 dx. Again, how we are going to find the integral of s square root of x plus 1? So, syempre, ginagamit natin dyan yung substitution. Right? Okay, so, kunin muna natin ang sweet ng x plus 1 dx. By substitution, we let u equals x plus 1. Therefore, du equals dx. So, therefore, we have square root of x plus 1 will be u and dx will be du. And that is equal to u raised to 1 half du. And therefore, the integral of u to the 1 half is u raised to 3 over 2 all over 3 over 2. Okay, plus c. Then, reciprocal, multiply yung 2 dun sa u raised to 3, 2. That will be 2 u raised to 3 over 2 over 3 plus c. Or therefore, we have 2 times x plus 1 raised to 3 over 2 over 3 plus c. So, ayan. So, ang gagamitin natin dyan ay ito. Okay. Set up natin yung ating integral. We have the integral of as uh, kahit hindi na pala nandiyan na rin okay when therefore oh, sige pakita na lang integral of of square root of x plus 1 from 0 to 8 ayan is equal to what ang integral ng square root of x plus 1 ay ito yun makikita natin ito sa baba 2 times x plus 1 raised to 3 over 2 over 3 from 0 to 8. Solve lang natin. Substitution lang yan. So, we have 2 times 8 plus 1 raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3 minus 2 times 0 plus 1 raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3. And therefore, we have 2 times 8 plus 1, 9 raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3 minus 2 times 1 raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3. Okay? We know that 9 is equal to 3 squared. So, 3 squared 
raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3 minus 2. Then 1 raised to 3 over 2 is 1. So 1 over 3. Therefore, we have 2 times 3 squared. So makakancel dyan yung 2. Natira yung 3 cubed which is 27 divided by 3 minus 2 times 1. So 2 divided by 3. 2 times 27 is equal to 54 over 3 minus 2 thirds. And 54 over 3 minus 2 thirds, they are proper, uh, similar fraction. So you can subtract the numerator. So 54 minus 2 is 52 over 3 square unit. So the area of the region is equal to 52 over 3 square units.